Okay, so the curved surface area of a cylinder of radius x and length 3x plus 2 is 32 pi. So it says form an equation in terms of x and solve it to find the length of the cylinder. Okay, so we essentially want to find the length here of this cylinder. Okay, so they say the length is 3x plus 2, so we actually want a numerical value for that. Okay, so the height of the cylinder here, the length of it. And they tell us the radius is x, okay, but then they say the curved surface area is 32 pi okay if we think of the curved surface area it's sort of the outside here isn't it it's this face that you see here all right not the top or the bottom it's this bit here now if you think about a can of baked beans okay it would look a bit like that and the label on it would be the curved surface area if you remove the label okay and sort of spread it out you would get a rectangle wouldn't you okay so this curved surface area actually creates a rectangle when you flatten it out now I know with this rectangle, okay, that this here is 3x plus 2, okay, so the height of it, okay, is the height of the can, which is 3x plus 2. In terms of the um, length here, okay, well if you think about it, this um, is the curved surface area, okay, and it's been spread out now to create this rectangle, while the length here it's got to equate to the length around here, yeah? And of course, this is the length of a circle, isn't it? Or the circumference, okay? So, basically, we need the circumference to work out what this length is here, okay? So, circumference, if you remember, the formula is pi times d, all right? So, we keep it in terms of pi because um, they're given the area in terms of pi, right? So, it's sensible to keep it. Don't, don't change it to 3.14. Okay, just keep it as pi, but then the diameter there, okay, so we've got pi times diameter. The diameter, of course, will be double the radius, yes? Yeah? So if the radius is x, double it, you get 2x. So that will be then 2 pi x, we can write that as, okay? And I can put that in there, okay? So my circumference of that circle is quite simply the length here of this rectangle, all right? And then it says that the area of it is 32 pi. Now, to get the area of a rectangle, it's really simple because what you do is you times the length by the width, don't you? Okay, the length by the width. So 2 pi x, okay, times the 3x plus 2. So I'll, I'll put in a bracket to show we times in length times width. Now, the area of this, of course, is equal to 32 pi. Okay, that's what they've told us in the question. Okay, they've stated that there. So by times in the length and the width, I'm determining the area, aren't I? Length times width gives me the area, and of course the area is 32 pi, as stated. So this times this is equal to 32 pi. Now, what I can do here, right, it can be quite clever here. Um, I'm going to multiply out this bracket, okay? But before I do that, I'm going to, this 2 pi, okay, I'm actually going to take over the other side. Because if I do that, something really clever happens, okay? So, um, you know, I could times through the whole bracket by 2 pi x, okay? and times by the 3x and times by the 2 but it might get a bit messy if I do that but if I appreciate that the 2 pi here is times in by the x okay so if I take the 2 pi over I divide by 2 pi okay and on this side then I'm just left with x 3x plus 2 okay so I'm just because I'm timesing here I take it over and divide and what nicely happens here is 32 pi divided by 2 pi well the pi's will cancel okay pi divided by pi is just 1 and 32 divided by 2 is 16. So 32 pi divided by 2 pi just becomes 16, and the pi's have gone. And I just need to multiply that out, so I get x times 3x is 3x squared, x times 2 is 2x. So I've got that there. And you can see then we've got a quadratic. If we get everything onto the left-hand side, okay, we have this, 3x squared minus 2x, uh, sorry, 3x squared plus 2x minus 16 is 0. Then, you know, we just need to factorise this, okay? So, whichever method you want to use, the one we, often, we usually do is this, isn't it? Put 3x, because there's 3x squared there. Put 3x in both brackets. And then when you do the multiply add thing over here, okay? Um, remember, when there's a number in front of the um, x squared, you times that by the n number. So, 3 times 16 is 48. And it's minus 16. So, 3 times minus 16 is minus 48. We're going to add up to give 2, okay? So we need a pair of numbers to satisfy this. Now, 6 and 8, I think, will work, because they times to give 48. I want it to be add up to give 2, so I need to make that a minus 6 and a plus 8, OK? 
Okay, that will add up to give 2, and then multiply to give minus 48. So those are the two numbers, minus 6 plus 8. Don't forget then, okay, I have to sort of pay back, because I times by 3 up there, I need to now divide by 3, okay? So then, um, divide by 3, let's look in the first bracket here. It is a common factor of 3, isn't it? So I can take 3 out. Okay, so take 3 out there, we get that. Okay, so 3s will cancel. So I get x minus 2 then in one bracket, 3x plus 8 in the other bracket. When you've got two brackets times together equals 0, one of the brackets is equal to 0. So that means x is equal to 2, or x will equal to, or 3x will equal to minus 8, so x will equal to minus 8 thirds. Okay? Now, um, if I put these two values in, I can then get the length, right? I can see which one would possibly work. Maybe both of them would work. Okay, so if I work out the length, then remember the length is 3x plus 2. So it'll be 3 times 2 plus 2. If I put 2 in to start with. Okay, so that would be um, 3 times 2 is 6 plus 2 is 8. So that'll be 8 centimeters. Um, or if I put the minus 8 thirds in, 3 times minus 8 thirds plus 2. If I put that into 3x plus 2. Now if I do that, that actually ends up being minus 6, which is impossible. Okay, you can't have a negative length, so therefore 8 centimetres is my answer.